I'll say at the outset that this is no masterpiece, but please watch anyway. <laughs> But I thought the process was interesting, so I'll explain what was done. First of all, taking a simple video against a black background, a slightly shiny one as you can see in this case. It could just be taken at night time, either outside or with your back to a window, with side lighting. You do need to wear light coloured clothes. Taken with a phone, or transferred to a phone, the video can then be played underneath the reflector. When played on the phone, the video then projects an image which you can see from the front. In this case, again, played on a black background. I'm using the CD case as a reflector because it's made from very thin plastic. There are reflections from both the top and the bottom surfaces, and the overlapping images cause some blurring. The thin plastic reduces this to a minimum. You might remember from school physics that the image is the same distance behind the reflector as the object is in front. To push the image further back, I've raised the reflector away from the phone. The image can then be part of the scenery, organised behind. You need a camera to take the final video. This doesn't have to be a video camera as I've used here. It can be another phone or a tablet. In taking that final video, lighting is a significant problem. A well-lit, light-coloured background shows very clearly through the hologram. I've partly dealt with that by ensuring that the hologram is projected against a black background. I guess an image like this might work better with a ghost story. But one last look at the final product. <laughs> And thank you for watching. I bet many of you can do much better than this, and please feel free to post a link to your efforts below here. Thanks again.